Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Concept. Today's video is related to automating the configurational backup process. Normally, when you are working or administrating in any big network with multiple network devices, so it's one of your routine tasks to take the configuration backup of, of all of your devices. So normally, uh, when you do this manually, you will create a log file for each your device. Login into each device, create a log file in uh, putty or uh, putty or secure CRT and then save it. And this takes too much time because you have to manually log in into all your devices. Uh, consider if you have devices more than 10 or 20, so it takes too much time. But using this simple code, you just, whenever you require a backup, you just open this code and run it. So it will automatically take the backup of all the devices in few seconds. So let me first show you the output of this code and then I'll explain you what is written in this. Let's start. I will just, this is my code. I will just run it and we'll see what is the output. It's running. This output shows it means it's uh, login into first device. Okay, this is finished. So, so see the time is 11, 11 2 and date is 4 12. So, this is my path. So, here you see there is a folder created with today's date, and if you see it's uh, this is created at the same time, 11.2. And if I go into this folder, so you can see here all the, there are multiple devices, host names are written on the file name. And uh, what this code did, so it takes the configuration, create a file with its host name, and then save it here. So you can see here multiple the configurations are placed here. So if I open this one, so we can verify like the host name is this and if you see the name of the this text file it is also the same so randomly if i choose something else so here also you can see the host name is this and the file name is also the same so yeah now let me show you the prerequisite or requirement for this so prerequisite for this automation process is like you need a windows machine with pipe charm installed or if you are a uh, Linux expert, so you can use a Linux machine with Python 3.0 installer. Machine should be reachable to all network devices with SSH allowed. So it means your machine which are you using with the Python should be uh, should have uh, access to all the devices with SSH uh, with SSH enabled. Third thing is you should have the same login credential of all your network devices because at uh, at the time of generating this code, we'll put the username and password for all the devices. It will use same for all. For all. NetMiko and Paramiko libraries should be installed in the Python. These are the two main libraries for network devices. Okay, so now let me explain you a code. Okay, if you are familiar with the code, then you will know in the beginning of each code, even you are working on C, Java, or Python, or anything. So you import some libraries which will be used in this in code. So the first line from future import print function. This is the syntax of calling the print function in Python 3.0. Because in previous versions of Python, the print function was pretty much same or similar. So different type of outputs are required. So we need to import this function from future import print function. Next two lines, from NetMiko, import connect handler, import Paramiko. NetMiko and Paramiko, these are the two libraries which are related to network automation. So simply you can say that all the network, the, all the commands used in network devices, Cisco or even HP or Juniper are known to these libraries. So whenever you push send any command so these libraries have uh, knowledge of those commands and it communicate with the network device and send the command and take the output okay so connect handler 
means you have a script on this library to do the SSH on any type of network device, Juniper or Cisco or Huawei or anything. Okay. Next, import system, import OS and import RE. Okay, import system and import uh, OS. So these are related to your system and operating system. What is wh why it is required? If you see my first output, so what what this code is doing? It is going to a given path, creating a new folder with the with the name of today's date, and then going into that folder and creating some files and giving in name of the host name of devices. So these all these all steps creating folder, going into some specific location or folder, and creating a file. These are handled with uh, with these three uh, import functions. So from these three lines, from date, time, import date, import time, import select. So these are related to uh, handling with date or time etc okay so starting from this first i have created one variable today and i have uh, uh, called the date today's date in it okay so my today's date like uh, 11 so, sorry 4 12 30 22 will be the part of this variable okay next thing is i have created uh, I have given this path C slash test. So my new folder, whenever I run this code, my new folder with the date name will be created on this path. Okay. So this command take me to this location. OS MKDR today. So it created a directory with today. And what is today? The date of uh, today's date, which is uh, 4-12-2022. And send... Uh, and the third line is, so now after creating this new folder in this location, uh, this code will go to this location. So uh, it is entered into the new folder and will uh, create the configuration backup files here. Okay, next thing is platform. So I was talking about NetMiko and Paramiko. So this is the syntax for this. So we have to define the uh, platform which platform is this? Cisco IOS, Cisco ESA, IOS XE, or some Juniper or whatever it is. So it identifies the platform, the username and password. So this is for the all your devices. Next thing is IP address open. So in this location, C user uh, IP address is data. Let me show you. So here you can see I have a file IP address letter. This file contains the IP addresses of all my network devices. Okay. So there is another variable which open this file in this location and it starts reading the IP addresses one by one. So here I created one loop for loop for host. Host means the IP address in IP address file the file which is open and have the IP addresses of all the devices so try host strip and uh, this this uh, device connect handler so the connect handler the import uh, in the import library so it took the information like platform IP from this host file username and password we have mentioned so now there is another variable I created to send the commands so th these are some initial command terminal length zero enable and this is for uh, taking out the host name of the device. So it took the host name. So whenever uh, I give this command, so it will show me the output like this host name and, and the name of the device. But what I required, I only required this portion. Okay, not this keyword host name. So now this portion, I'll uh, we have separated these two and extracted only this information, the actual name of the device. Okay, and remove this keyword. 
so these three steps okay we have just split this one and just extracted our required name of actual name of the device actual host name of the device so here we have created a file a new file with this 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 uh, variable has the host name the actual host name of the device so now we have created one new file with the host name which i have shown you all the there are multiple files with the multiple different host name and and have and each file has a configuration of any switch okay so this one with the file is created and the file is open the next step is this one gives you like the output will be will not be shown in the uh, on this terminal it will be pasted to this the file the file which is created with the host name and next thing is we have sent this command show running configuration the command is sent the output is taken in this and when we uh, call the print function so this uh, using these two lines using these two lines and syntax this code will not show you the output here it will save the output to this newly open file and then it will close this file the loop is completed and then again it will do one by one for each device okay so if i run this again it will give me error what error it gives cannot create a file when the file already exists okay so what i'll do i will delete this file okay so you can see there is no latest folder so i run it again yeah this is what it, it shows that uh, the code is logging into first device it's running and taking the backup and taking the backup one by one and it is completed now if we go back i refresh and you can see there is a folder created with the date the time is creation time is 11 13 and if we go inside you can see the configuration backup is there and you can verify with the post name okay thanks for watching